think my mom became not just a victim, but a survivor. But more than that, she deserves to have the answer as to what happened, why her mom was not able to hold on to her, and why this other person took her and never gave her back. You would think as a medium, I should be able to call everybody on the other side and figure out how Stella obtained her, but it doesn't work that way. In a sense, I'm just like everybody else in my pursuit for answers. Welcome back. We've been talking with clairvoyant medium and star of the new Netflix series, Life After Death with Tyler Henry, where he faced an obstacle like never before as he attempted to use his ability to get his mom answers about her past. And joining us now is Tyler's mother, Teresa. Teresa, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Um, so, t I'm trying to understand the story. You did the you did an ancestry test, like so many other people. I'm the only one who hasn't done it yet. I'm so nervous. Um, but th for the reasons that you discovered, um, you did the ancestry test, and what came back? Well, what came back was really bittersweet. Um, I found out that the woman who I thought was my birth mother wasn't, and. It was bittersweet because when I was 12 years old, she had tortured and murdered two people. And I have always held on to that guilt and shame all of my life. And now I could let that go. But also because it was kind of like grieving a death because it meant that my siblings, Peter, Juanita, and Felicia, weren't really my siblings. And then it meant that I had this whole new family in New Orleans and it was a lot to deal with. So, uh, yes, uh, absolutely. Tell me though, you so you did not know this at all until you took the test? I did not know this. I thought I was French. I found out that I'm Italian. Um, I, I, I've been blessed with this new beautiful family that I found yeah. in New Orleans, or they found me, I should say. Um, and then I still have my, my original family that I love. We have a bond that no one or nothing could ever wow. break. Tyler. So nothing, growing up, because you first discovered this ability when you were around 10, nothing ever signaled to you that this was happening? You had to go to Ancestry.com? <laughs> so, as a kid, I actually did get the hunch, if you want to call it that, yeah. that who she thought was her mother and she may not be related. Wow. My mom is the kindest, most incredible human. And the person I thought for the first 20-something years of my life was my grandmother was obviously not. So even as a kid, I had questions. It didn't add up. But the thing was, is my mother and the woman who stole her as a baby looked very similar. There was an uncanny resemblance. Wow. So my mom wrote it off as, that's impossible that we're not related. We look too much alike. And I looked like my sister Felicia, I thought as well, right. who so, we have different fathers and I thought we had the same mother. It's so. a mixed family. Yeah. That's amazing. So Teresa, do you now know how she stole you? You know, it's not completely clear. We have ideas about why she um, took me from my mother, and um, it was definitely under false pretenses. And we may never know the whole story, but I think I know. And it's just so it's 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 just complicated. To to add to that, you know, in the '60s in the South is really where my mom was started and was born. And this was a time when segregation was rampant. And my mom, having half siblings that were African American, she was able to go into institutions that her siblings weren't allowed to go in. That's correct. And the woman that took my mother used that for her advantage. So it's a crazy story. My head is swirling right now, just keeping up with the pieces. So because of the complexity of this, as I understand, Tyler, you actually turned to another medium to help you. Why did you need to do that? Well, you know, for me, it's important that I not know who I'm reading or where I'm going because I don't want to be biased by logical information. So when applying my ability to my own family, it was difficult because I know my mother. I know my family uh, history, or at least <laughs> what we think we know about it. And so it was very difficult to put that bias aside and connect intuitively. So I did go and see a medium that I trusted. And she came up with a lot of really interesting information that alongside a professional genealogist really helped provide clarity in where our family started, what happened, and our identity. Well, I'll tell you what, I, Tyler, I know you had your first show at 19. Teresa, you should have had your show back then. This is amazing. This story is, it, I mean, I do a crime show. Someone they knew, I did Deadline Crime. This is one of the most extraordinary stories I've ever heard. It really is. It really is. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, we have to have you back. <laughs> I'm, spe I'm rarely speechless, but because this is live, I'll admit it, I, my jaw's on the ground here. Um, well, Tyler, you know, it's great to see you back on television with the show. Teresa, I know you don't do I interviews often, and this one is very difficult, but thank you so much for being so gracious to come on. Because I know it's not easy to talk about this because you're still dealing with it. Um, thank you. Teresa and Tyler, and by the way, you can catch Life After Death with Tyler Henry streaming on Netflix.